Hey guys, what's up? TechFlash here. So, it seems like foldable display devices are constantly battling adversity. Not only is the technology still maturing and very expensive, but its rise is also currently battling unfortunate global market and economic conditions. Even so, Samsung has successfully proven that if you are big enough and bold enough in your offers and pricings, the foldable form factor can have a lot of success. For the most part, the foldable smartphone market has been a virtual monopoly of Samsung, largely due to its aggressive approach in a super premium market. However, in recent times, other brands began working on foldable devices and Oppo's device was spotted on a patent website recently. According to rumors, it is claimed to be called the Oppo Find N 5G, which Oppo has been working on its first foldable for quite some time now. Digital Chat Station recently shared a couple of interesting posts on Weibo. The first one of these was targeted as being posted from a mysterious device called the Oppo Find N 5G. The post itself contains a reference to the long forgotten Oppo N series of phones and a photo of what seems to be the Oppo N3, a very weird device back from 2014 which had its main camera on a motorized swivel so it could act as a selfie and also capture some intriguing panoramas. The second post related to the Oppo Find N 5G seemed to mention both a foldable display as well as a way to use the phone's main 50 megapixel Sony IMX 766 sensor for selfies. Other cameras include a 16 megapixel Sony IMX481 secondary sensor and a 13 megapixel Samsung ISO cell tertiary sensor. The device could also get a 32 megapixel front camera. The post does also feature a reference to the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra which pulls off selfies with the main camera through a tiny display on the back. Perhaps the Oppo Find N 5G will also have a tiny display of its own kind of like what the Z Flip 3 has. The Find branding definitely suggests flagship features so we wouldn't put it past Oppo. Then again, we should note that some of the company's recent foldable device patents have also included things like a pop-up camera as well as an odd clamshell with an outward facing screen and a camera bar similar to the aforementioned Oppo N3. A different source claims that Oppo's foldable display phone will have between a 7.8 and an 8 inch OLED display with 2K resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. The outer display of the smartphone may get a punch hole at the top, AMOLED display along with a 60Hz standard refresh rate straight and curved glass. When it comes to the processor, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888 processor may power the Oppo Find N 5G, according to rumors. However, the rumor is a bit hard to digest as the brand is reportedly going to offer the Snapdragon's 8 Gen 1 processor in the upcoming Oppo Find X4. This suggests that the flagship foldable smartphone may get the latest Snapdragon chipset. Also, one thing to note here is that apparently, the new leaks have come so far into its development and production cycle that the foldable unit are already dissipating through internal channels to stores for the purpose of employee training which means that this is going to be launched any day now news on the huawei side is definitely less concrete and specific it has to do with a recent investor meeting of a company called zauli technology where it was revealed that the company had started mass production of a new foldable smartphone hinge for a large customer zauli technology did not specify the client's name but industry analysts believe it is huawei what zauli technology did mention however was the fact that this new design is apparently not overly complicated and will allow higher profit margins on the device itself, which is something that even a company on the scale of Huawei desperately needs to make a future foldable device viable and successful. All of this information ties nicely with previous rumors that Huawei is indeed working on a more affordable foldable phone. Anyways guys, that is it for the new upcoming foldable phones. If all goes well, we might just be on the verge of a major foldable display market expansion that could really shake up the cutting edge and high and premium market segment of the industry if you enjoyed the video please drop a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you once again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out